five, four, we're going live in five, four, three, two, one. Can you hear us? Just checking. And we are back between two Yetis with Jason Blunt from PI Marine. How are you? Zach Savage, pleasure to be on your show. Just had the big boy on, 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 and uh, he did very well explaining about who PI Marine is. Uh, he's, he's the master and disaster of everything that happens in that company. The master and disaster. Yes, I mean, it's perfect. <laughs> he's the master, I'm, the, I'm usually the disaster. Well, it's a good job I don't work there, then it would be a shit show. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yes. How about you work with PI Marine? Uh, pretty good. He, I mean, um, between Rich and I, we're a great team. We uh, pull off a lot of really big projects and we make a lot of people happy, you know, I mean, we don't have a big list of people that we don't make unhappy, you know, it's, and uh, everybody that we have is like, turns into a family type yeah. deal thing. Which is so, interesting, because you guys always take on projects that you probably shouldn't, in terms of size, in a very tight turnaround window. Sure. I mean, that's your speciality really, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's customer service. I mean, anybody can install audio visual. Anybody can in install networks. We take pride in what we do. And um, I think our biggest thing that we try to take pride in the most is the customer service. Yeah. I mean, it, it, there's been a lot of weekends that Rich and I have answered back and forth, you know, going, you know, and who uses their boat mostly? On the weekends. Yep. So we, we take on a lot of that, and our customer service is impeccable, I think, or at least we try to make it that way. Yep. And uh, whatever we can do to, I mean, we can install the AV and give them a perfect experience, and it's easy. That's what we tr shoot for. Very cool. Tell me a little bit about you. How long have you been with PR Marine? It's like I'm on six uh, years? I'm about eight years now. Where did you start on boats? I mean, I'm in my 15th year of yachting. Right. Um, as far as in the yachting community, I've uh, done it for 15 years, starting with a company called Intellect. They went out of business. I've also been with another company called Larry Smith. Yep. They've you, also went out of business. You were with Larry Smith Electronics? Back in the You're day. You're the third person I know that used to work for Larry Smith. Tyson used to work with Larry Smith? Yeah, we all did. We all did. And then um, another company was High Seas Technologies. We worked with those guys. But uh, Richard's been uh, one of the longest standing companies that I've been with. So, I mean, like I said, I think I just, uh, I think I just broke eight years in uh, July. Jeez, but what did you do before you were in the marine industry? Where's your history then? Well, I think my, uh, the funniest thing about it is I came to Florida and I wanted to be a roadie. I wanted to be a rock star roadie, you know, work for, uh, work for like- uh, Is that a job? Yeah, uh, it's a job. But the best thing I could do is work don't, in the hotel have, business. Don't you have sex with rock yeah, stars? Well, yeah, well, you don't have to have sex with the rock stars, but you get to watch the rock stars have sex with people. You know, you're the one that's actually pushing the cases and everything like that, while all the hot chicks are going into the rock stars' boats. Yeah. So you, how do you become a roadie? There must be a, an application process. Well, I went you to hang the, around outside. Well, it's it's funny you should ask that. Zach. Is this like an aid to lead to a rock star? But you call it's a funny you should ask that, Zach, because uh, I went to school for this. It's called yeah, it's called the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. Uh huh. I actually went to school to become a roadie. And I got into, uh, uh, instead of becoming a roadie, I got into setting up seminars in hotel business. Hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa. no, no, no. Yes. No, no. So you went to university, college? Yes. To learn how to push trunks, or did you learn music at the same time? Well, I, you, had to know, you had to know what you were pushing. Are you an aspiring rock star when you did this, or? No, no, I was just young. So what do you do in the course to learn how to be a roadie? Well, I pushed a lot of trunks. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of college? Yeah, right out of college. And I, uh, Did I, you do a lot of butt chugging at college? Not a lot, no, I can't I say just, it. I, can't I just say learned it. that yesterday, so I, uh, I don't we'll, even we'll know what to... that is, but we'll get back to that later. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, so you, you really went to college to learn how to be a roadie? Well, it, I'd like to say it was a college, but it's more like a trade school. You know, it's like really a waste of your parents' family, <laughs> or a waste of your parents' money. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And my dad was just like, anything to get him out of the house and be perfect, get him out. So no, it was perfect. But I, I did that in uh, Pittsburgh for uh, about four years. <laughs> four years? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I made sure I took out all my all of my inheritance at that point right there. Right. So and then, then you came down to South Florida. And then I decided, I'm like, I'm gonna go to South Florida. And he's like, eh, whatever, just get out of here. It's perfect. But I got in, I got, when I did it, I got right into the hotel business. I loved every bit of it. But did you ever get to be a roadie? Uh, I was for about two years. 
Do you two want to... years? Yeah, I was about a roadie for about two years. But you just threw that off like I went into the hotel business. No, no, I want to know about this two years. Who was that with? Well, that was in between Pittsburgh and coming to Florida, so. So where were you? Well, I worked for this one company. It was called uh, Unitel at the time. And uh, what they did is they would bring in the, the production trucks for a concert. So like all the cameras all have to go into a production truck. Yeah. All the sound and lighting all have to go into the production truck. And you know, the guy that's in the middle of the stage and always blocks your view. Yeah. When you're like, yeah, I'm on the floor. And you're like right behind the guy that the whole lighting thing, they all talk to a truck. So uh, in, in like sporting events and everything like that, we have to do satellite communications and they would broadcast that to like Atlanta, New York. You know, this sounds like a cool job. It was a cool job. You get to travel around the country doing this? I, I did it for two years. It was good. Did you see any rock stars having sex with like other people? Um, I didn't actually get to see them having the sex, but I knew what was going on. Like I, uh, I did a Guns N' Roses concert one time in Detroit. That, that was That would have been cool. Um, to, uh, what was the, I mean, I wish I could remember the girl's name. She was so unimportant. But I mean, she is saying like, Lisa Loeb, Lisa Loeb. I, that's right, I got to meet Lisa Loeb. That was another one of my... Lisa, who the hell is that? That was some chick that sang a song that was once one hit wonder. But yeah, I mean... Jason, this is a brilliant story. Well, I, I, try, I, try, I try to make... I don't make the stuff up, it just happened. <laughs> so we are between two yetis. Jason, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, pleasure being on your show.